have sat right down next to me. A true, true story. Take my seat aboard the plane, and what does this I see? Leonard Bernstein comes aboard and sits right next to me. First class New York to LA, some things just work out right. I'll be sitting next to Leonard Bernstein this Maybe I should just act like I do not recognize him. Be real cool, do my best not to antagonize him. Now we're rolling down the runway. Next stop is LA. I am not shallot like I ride next to Lenny every day. Naturally, I turn to him against my own advice. Introduce myself and find that Lenny's very nice. Soon we start to chat and drink talk about our lives, talk about our children and our wives. But what a lovely fellow, what a lucky day. Me and Lenny side by side, New York to L.A. Soon we're chatting, drinking, talking like the very best of pals, talking music, life, art, death, root canals. Now he's interrupting me, but really that's okay. Because he's a lovely fellow, and he's got a lot to say. I recite some songs I wrote, he recites them back. For poetry and music, he seems to have a knack. He tells me that his new show closed, and now he's feeling beat. And he's not used to dealing with defeat. What a lovely fellow, what a lucky day. Me and Lenny side by side, New York to L.A. Going up, going up. He does the London Times crossword, 10 minutes and he's through. Does the puzzle with his pen, I do not have a clue. What an intellectual but a warm and friendly guy. We talk about the world below as we sail through the sky. Finally, I feel the airplane starting to descend. And I know this lovely day is coming to an end. Put our trays and seat bags up just like you're supposed to do. Land with my friend a fond adieu. What a lovely fellow, what a lucky day. Me and Lenny side by side, New York to LA. What a lovely fellow, really I must say. I've not heard from Lenny since I left him in LA. Not a goddamn word from Lenny since I left him in. 